What's up, Geeks and Gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today, Battlefield 5 already dropping prices. This is what happens when you get woke. This is what happens. You get woke, you go broke. This is what happens when you attack your customers over and over again and call them racist and sexist and misogynistic. This is what happens when you tell people to respect women. This is what happens when you're a male feminist right here. This is what happens. So this is from GameSpot, and it says, Seems like it used to take a long time for games to dip down to half price. Battlefield 5 has only been out a few weeks and it's already available for $30 and $40 for the deluxe edition. The only catch is that you have to own and have access to a recent Battlefield game. But if you don't, you can get the standard edition for $40 from various retailers. The Battlefield subreddit has been abuzz with people posting that the deal has popped up when they've signed in to games like Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, and Battlefield 1. We teased it out on Battlefield 1 and Xbox, or Battle, we teased it out on Battlefield 1 on Xbox 1. And sure enough, the deal appears in the game's start menu. So if you have a previous installment and are interested in trying out the new one, boot it up and grab the deal. Everyone else can grab the standard edition Battlefield 5 on PS4, Xbox One, and PC for $40 from Best Buy, Target, Walmart. Just click the appropriate link below. So, again, the game is ju it just came out. It just came out, and it's already dropping prices. How many times are these big companies going to go through this and not understand that identity politics is a bad business model. How many people are going to figure it out? It doesn't seem like these companies are paying attention. We see it with Star Wars right now in Lucasfilm. They have went full woke and they are suffering at the box office, which is why Solo became the first Star Wars movie to ever lose money. How does this continue to happen? How do these companies continue to not see that this is an awful business strategy? I don't get it. Hopefully Marvel is not going down this road with Captain Marvel, but it seems like that this is exactly where they're heading, especially with the marketing campaign right now. We see it with EA. We've seen it with Ghostbusters 2016. And every single time they try it, it fails. This has nothing to do with women. This has nothing to do with non-white males. This has to do with you utilizing them as marketing tools because there are so many logical thinking people out there that understand this. They get it. They realize that you're only using these people and their race and their gender to get woke, to show that you're that you're going to project online. And a lot of these Corporate executives are male feminists, meaning basically they're just trying to get laid. That's essentially all they're trying to do. So we have Battlefield now, a mega franchise that should have had a major release, and it should have been flying off the shelves at full price, but because of how EA treated the fans, treated the customers, when they made the announcement, with well, the creative decision first and foremost, was a big problem. But when the creative decision happened and it premiered, then the fans were very critical of it. And how did EA respond? They said, don't like it, don't buy it. And you're going to be on the wrong side of history is what they told all the fans. These people are nuts. They're morons. So Battlefield 5, what do you think about it? Have you played it? Are you going to get it on discount? I say wait until it's in the $5 bin at Walmart and then go pick it up. I haven't played it, but we have reviewed it for geeksandgamers.com. So if you want to check that out, you can head over to the website and check that out. But I won't be playing it. I've never been a huge Battlefield guy. I mean, obviously, Battlefield games are great. Um, they're just, I've always been a Call of Duty Titanfall guy myself. But uh, yeah, so this is a classic case of get woke, go broke. So if you want to keep losing money, all of you stupid companies out there, if you want to keep losing money, this is exactly the way you do it. You utilize identity politics, you use people based on their race and their gender to try to market your company, and then when you're paying customers, tell you, hey, we don't like your identity politics, then you tell your longtime paying customers that if they don't like it, don't buy it. And then when they respond, then you call them racist and sexist. It's a classic way to lose money. Good job, EA. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.